Abraham and Strauss was a major New York City department store that opened in 1865 and closed in 1995. Thank you for your suggestion. The first store opened on 285 Fulton Street in Brooklyn, New York in 1865 under the name Wexler and Abraham. Abraham Abraham and Joseph Wexler each contributed $5,000 for the purchase of their new store that measured only 25 feet by 90 feet. The store was so successful that it moved to a new and larger location at the corner of Fulton and Hoyt Streets in 1885. The firm reorganized in 1893 when Wexler retired. Isidore Strauss, Nathan Strauss, and Simon Rothschild joined as partners with Abraham, and the business was renamed Abraham and Strauss. The Strauss family, Isidore and Nathan Strauss, had acquired a general partnership with Macy's department stores in 1888, and they bought out Joseph Wexler's interest. They changed the name to Abraham and Strauss, but did not at the time become part of Macy's. The two stores shared an overseas office and maintained close ties. Federated Department Stores, Inc. was formed in 1900 as a holding company by several family-owned department stores, including Abraham & Strauss, F&R Lazarus & Company, Shalitos, and Filings of Boston. The business continued to grow in the 20th century with more than 4,500 employees by the year 1900. The company worked with different Long Island catalog store organizations to supply their locations with inventory. Isidore Strauss and his wife Ida passed away in April of 1912 when the RMS Titanic sank on her first maiden voyage. A plaque in their honor would be added to their 34th Street store, which remained there for many years until it was donated to their descendants. The Strauss family decided to divide the company after Isidore's son, Percy Selden Strauss, was married to Abraham Abraham's daughter. Isidore's family ran Macy's, and Nathan Strauss's family operated Abraham and Strauss. Abraham and Strauss started a major renovation of their Fulton Street store in 1928. The expansion was completed just a few days before the infamous Wall Street crash in October of 1929. The 10-story building took up much of Hoyt and Livingston Streets. More than 28 acres were devoted to retail space. To economize during the Depression, the company began scheduling employees according to hourly sales. In addition, all employees took a 10% pay cut. No employees were laid off. The business continued to grow, acquiring Loser's store in Garden City, New York in 1950, and opening its first Hempstead, New York location in 1952. Additional locations were opened in Paramus, Milburn, and Eatontown, New Jersey. Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and White Plains, New York would follow over the next several decades. By 1955, the company had 12,000 employees. Federated updated the Abraham and Strauss logo several times from the 1950s to the 1970s and also tried to create a more modern upscale reputation for their stores. 
Some stores succeeded with this new approach. Many of the New York locations continue to thrive, including their flagship store on Fulton Street in Brooklyn. That outlet gained acclaim for hiring several local students to serve as living mannequins, wearing some of the latest fashions for one-hour intervals during the mid-1970s. By the late 70s and early 80s, Abraham and Strauss would open stores and malls but it found minimal success, and by the late 1980s, many mall locations would close. Abraham and Strauss was consolidated with New England department store chain Jordan Marsh in the early 1990s. The new ANS Jordan Marsh division would be headquartered in Brooklyn. Federated purchased Macy's in 1994 after the well-known retailer filed for bankruptcy. Since both Macy's and ANS competed for the same type of middle income customer, Federated felt that the lesser known ANS brand should be eliminated. In 1995, it was announced that all Abraham and Strauss locations would be converted to other brands by April 30th. Most became Macy's or Stearns, but at least one location was converted to a Bloomingdale's, and another was sold to Sears. The Fulton Street store has remained in business for more than 135 years. The building underwent additional renovations at times from 1947 until 2014. It is now the second largest Macy's store in Greater New York. Four floors of the building are used for retail space, corporate offices, and seasonal displays. So what are some of your favorite memories of this place? Leave a comment or a suggestion for a future video below. Be sure to hit that like button. Thanks for watching.